Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Sylvia from Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa Children's Ministry. I'm super excited because I get to read to you today. I got to do it a few weeks ago and I had a lot of fun with it and so I'm totally looking forward to today. What I'm also looking forward to is getting back to church so that I can see you and we can continue learning about Jesus. But until then, let's have fun reading. Today's story is I Can Only Imagine a Friendship with Jesus Now and Forever written by Bart Millard of Mercy Me with Laura Nutzling, illustrated by Suniti Kolima. Let's have fun reading. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine. The more I imagine, the more I wish I knew. If I went to heaven, just what would I do? Would I wear scratchy robes and sing in a choir? Would I bounce in the clouds going higher and higher? Look at the little guy wondering what heaven may be like. Do you wonder what heaven is like? Do you wake up in heaven with your hair all a mess? Must you make up your bed right before you get dressed? Is there breakfast in heaven when your tummy's all rumbly? Are there fluffy pancakes and big biscuits so crumbly? Look at that delicious breakfast. It's making me hungry. Do the houses in heaven have big rooms and spaces? Did God think of me when he built all those places? Like basketball courts, a swing and a slide, or a super cool playhouse with doors on two sides? God is always thinking of you, so I'm sure he built heaven thinking of you. The more I imagine, the more I wish I knew. If I spent the day with God, what exactly would we do? Would Jesus play with me? Would he like what I like? Would he race with a wagon or ride on a bike? Would God feel what I feel? Would he see what I see? Would he like to go on adventures with me? I can only imagine what God thinks is fun. We could jump in the lake and soak in the sun, splishing and splashing and shouting hooray. Would God like to float on a warm summer day? I'm having so much fun. I'm pretty sure God likes to have fun too. How about ice cream? It's a heavenly treat. Strawberries roll is my favorite to eat. I bet heaven serves ice cream before lunch each day and the scoops are ginormous like an ice cream bouquet. Look at those ginormous scoops of ice cream. Why maybe in heaven God loves to play ball. Everyone gets chosen, there's room for us all. Throwing and catching and learning to slide. When the game's done, we'd all give high fives. Look at that. Everyone gets to play, have fun, and celebrate. Surely the music in heaven is grand. We'll sit around the fire and make our own band. The sound is so pretty, we'll all sing along. I wonder the name of God's favorite song. Get them singing praises to God. What about animals? God made them all from soft fluffy bunnies to crickets so small. My big dog Lulu's the greatest one yet. Are puppies his favorite? Does God have a pet? When I get to heaven, can I sit on God's knee? We'll all cuddle up close and hear his story of how Jesus was born of his time on earth. He'll tell us he loves us and show us our word. Thank you, dear God, for keeping me close. Being with you is what I like most. We know you, we love you, we'll be there together. Each day we'll be happy in heaven forever. I can't wait to get to heaven. I'm sure of one thing that will always be true. I don't have to wait to spend time with you. You're here in my heart. Your spirit will guide. You'll never leave me. You'll stand by my side. God is always with you. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when we're walking together, Jesus and me. I can only imagine. The end. And boys and girls, right now we get to imagine what heaven may be like. 
But one day we are going to get to be there with God and we're going to get to see all the beautiful things that he has made for you to enjoy. Isn't that wonderful news? What is also cool news is that you don't have to wait to get to heaven to be with God because guess what? God is with you always. Like in fact, he's here with me right now and he's there with you where you're at. He loves to spend time with you. He loves it when you talk to him and guess what? He's with you when you're happy and he's with you when you're sad and when you're grumpy and when you're not feeling well. God is there with you. So always talk to him. He loves to come for you. He loves to bring you joy. Also, I want to encourage you to continue to grow in his love and his knowledge. And in order to do so, remember, read your Bible and pray every day. I really hope you enjoyed the story. I can only imagine a friendship with Jesus now and forever. I certainly did. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. For now, be good to your parents. God bless you guys.